In this video, we're going to be taking a look at using adjectives that compare. It's important to have your writing journal and your practice companion book out. And you can see at the top here of the screen, it says adjectives can be used to compare two or more things. ER and EST can be added to the end of short adjectives. For example, if Jen is tall, then Mar Martin is taller, then Lucia is the tallest. All right, now longer adjectives use words like more and most to show comparison. For example, this is the most interesting movie of everyone in the theater. So those are some examples of using adjectives to compare. Let's take a look at some other examples. So let's say, for example, for sentence one, we're looking at the word big to describe the shoes. So we would say AJ wears bigger. shoes than mine. Next one, let's say we're talking about the word cold for an adjective. We can say that this was the coldest day of the year. Now we can see ER and EST. Now what's the difference? The difference is AJ, just comparing two things for the sentence with AJ in it, the second sentence EST, that's a superlative, what that's doing, that's comparing the days to more than just one other day or comparing three or more things. Next one, it says Kira chose the blank book of them all. So let's say I'm talking about romantic. I would not say romantic est. I would say most romantic. All right, so I would have most romantic book of them all. Okay, why are we using most? The reason we're using most is because it's comparing three or more books. Now let's take a look at some other things here. So we could say that this truck is bigger than the other car. All right, and we could say that this hippo has the biggest teeth of all the animals. Why EST? Because it's comparing three or more things. Now let's take a look at Practice Companion Book, page 366, and we'll go over some of these, some adjectives that compare a little bit more here. So we can see the directions on page 366. It says, underline the correct form of the adjective that compares to complete each of the sentence. So number one is done for you. The, sh the sailor went on the longer, most long, or longest journey of his life, so it would be longest. Why is that? It's comparing three or more things. Next one. The ship's crew found the seas to be the roughest, most rough, or rougher than they had been on their previous trips. Now this would be rougher. Why is it rougher? Because it's just talking about one other trip. Now what I want you to do is complete numbers three through nine all by yourself. When you're finished, you can press play, and I will have the answers for you. So pause the video now. So you can see for number three, the instruments they used to find their way were very old. And why are we saying old? Because it's just describing the instruments. It's not comparing anything at all. Number four, a compass provide, proved to be their most valuable. Why is it most valuable? Because valuable has more than two syllables, so we put most in front of it. Number five, more difficult. Number six, nearer. Number seven, famous. I'm not comparing anything there, so we just use famous to describe Isaac Newton. Number eight, most important thing. Why is that? Because it's comparing three or more things. And then finally, braver than most people when he stated that the earth was not the center of the universe. Okay, so this concludes the video on taking a look at adjectives that compare. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.